The next topic to discuss is creating construction planes. Construction planes will be needed anytime you need to start a sketch but don't have an existing plane or planar face to start the sketch on. So let's get started. To create a plane, start by clicking the plane command from the toolbar. There are several plane types to choose from in this command. We'll start with a simple offset. As the name implies, the offset plane type creates a plane offset from an existing plane or planar face. Simply click the plane or planar face, enter an offset, and you'll see the plane. You can flip the direction of the offset by clicking the opposite direction checkbox. The next plane type on the list is plane point. This allows you to insert a plane parallel to an existing plane or planar face, but intersecting a point or vertex that you select. Simply click a point, then a plane or planar face, and a plane will be inserted. The line angle plane allows you to insert a plane that passes through a line at an angle. To create a line angle plane, click the edge or line that the angle will rotate about, and you'll see a line angle plane is created. You can establish a zero position for the plane by clicking a reference face, plane, or point, for example. Then simply set the angle and accept. The next plane to discuss is the point normal plane. This plane will be inserted normal to a line or edge, for example, and through a point or vertex that you select. Simply select a point or vertex, an edge or line, and a plane will be inserted. A tip with a point normal plane, you can also use any geometry that defines an axis instead of clicking on a line or an edge, like an arc or a circle, or even a cylindrical face. The three point plane will give you a plane that passes through three points. To create a three point plane, click on three points or vertices and the plane is created. Next up is mid plane. Mid plane will insert a plane at the center of the two planes or planar faces that you select. Simply select two planes or planar faces and a new plane is inserted at the center. This also works if the planes you select are not parallel. The final plane on the list is the curve point plane. This will create a plane that passes through a point and is normal to the curve you select. Simply select your curve and a point or vertex and the plane will be created. This plane type is useful in many situations but is especially helpful for creating construction planes for sweeps. One last thing to mention about the plane command. There are actually two ways to insert a plane. As we've done so far, you can click the plane command from the toolbar, then choose a plane type, then select your entities. But there is a faster approach. You can pre-select the entities that you want to reference with your plane, and then click the plane command. The advantage to this approach is it will automatically choose the plane type based on your selections.